Hello everybody. This is Brenda, Snippity Doo Creations, and I am here today to show you my newest um, bee journal. Um, first of all, of course, I would love to give a shout out to Cindy, Joanne, and Caroline. Thank you so much for your comments and for subscribing to my channel. Um, a little news bulletin first before I get started. Um, the winner of the ephemera bag with ephemera, um, let's see if I can, is here with ephemera. Um, I have not heard anything from the winner yet. Um, so, uh, the, the winner was Melinda melinda Ulrich and melinda if you're out there please get in contact with me with your address um if i don't hear from melinda um in the next week or so um next week i will be on vacation and um if i haven't heard anything by then the only the only thing i think that i can do is redraw for the um winner so, um, that is what I think I'll do, but after vacation, um, next week, uh, we'll be going to the Outer Banks in North Carolina. Can't wait. A much needed vacation. Beach and all. Um, and, um, if I don't hear anything by then, when I come back from vacation, I will be drawing for a new winner. So, Without further ado, let's go through the journal. Okay, this is my B journal. Um, it is nine and a half by six and a half inches, has approximately 94 pages front and back. I have a vintage doily attached to the front of this beautiful flower fabric and um, I have some um, what do you call it some colored um, this stuff <laughs> I have some colored this stuff <clears throat> behind the flower the flower is slow stitched to the doily um let's see i have on the flower in the middle some pearl liquid drops um oh the beautiful little bee here is a brooch and it is removable so let's see, what else do I need to tell you about the front? Um, the closure is Sari Silk. It is one signature. And I think now we can go inside. So let's take a peek. Okay. Get it in screen here if I can. Okay, so we have a pocket on the front um, with some decor, a little tag down here, a tag here, and a tag behind the pocket, or in the pocket, I should say. Um, this beautiful bee paper. Digikit is called Honey Roses, and this came from Janie B. Journals. Lovely, beautiful paper. I love it. The little bees that you'll see throughout, uh, the little um, decorator bees here, came from Shar's Crafty Shop, and I have bees and flowers throughout um, that came from her shop. Um, let's see. Well, let's continue on. Okay, this is a 
circle pocket filled with a hand uh, doily that has been slow stitched and has a little flower applique. And this is the pocket that fits right in here. And then we have a couple of little tags that can be written on. Those tuck right in there. Another one of Char's beautiful little bees. Um, this is just a little tuck here that I added. Um, put some honeycomb um, stencil behind. This is, of course, a page from uh, Edith Journal. Edith, <laughs> sorry, Edith Holden's book with some bees on her flowers. Some more of the beautiful um, bee paper. I did add some vintage lace to the ends of some of the papers. This is one of those um, flip down journal writing spaces. And a pocket behind that has the um, tag and a couple of journaling tags from the kit tucked in there. We have <clears throat> this beautiful snippet roll. Um, I used a piece for the belly band. This beautiful snippet roll came from my old barn door and she does absolutely beautiful work. I just love her work. And behind the belly band, I have a card that I made with flip out cover and some writing paper to journal on, journal on. And that goes right back down in there. And this slides right back in here. Okay. And we have a coffee dyed doily, some more of the beautiful paper. We have a children's book page, um, some coffee dyed paper here. This I think came from Emily. Um, Emily's, I uh, can't remember what's her shop. Anyway, I'll put it below if I think about it. She has beautiful coffee dyed paper. Um, this I made with Gail um, on video, of course. This is a flip top sack and it has a card in the bag, in the sack. And that's a glassine bag decorated. The flip top comes down and we have a couple of, uh, we have a journaling card and a tag that goes right in here. And um, like I said, this was done on one of Gail's videos. I can't remember where she got the idea from, but um, I'm sure if you see Gail's video, you'll know where she got the idea from. Um, more of the beautiful paper and the lace, the vintage lace. This is one of our collage pages. Love, I just love adding these to the to, to my journals. This is a paper sack with one of my um, little uh, clips that I make for holding on holding the sacks together, and it's got a little got a little B card in it that goes in there, and that clips right on there love these little sacks with the little clips on them. I like to add those to my journals too. More of the beautiful bee paper, coffee dyed paper. This is one of those, and I didn't attach this to the page. It's one of those um, <sighs> well, let's see. You take the paper clips off. Okay, I got two paper clips. And this flips down. This um, is a little sack 
filled with goodies that I added. This flips over and this opens up to create a lot of journaling space. And that folds together like that and I just clipped it to the page with these little clips. So that one goes there. That one goes here. And this is tucked right in there to keep this flap closed. And that of course is one of Shar's, um, Claudia, Shar's Crafty Shop. I think her name is Claudia. One of her beautiful bees. And this is one of the envelopes that came with the kit and I just left this open for journaling and that was hooked right in this tag here. Okay. Um, let's see, some coffee dyed school paper. This is the middle of the signature. More of the school paper. This is a little bee pocket with one of either Char's or Timeless Crochet for use flower. Um, has some little tags. Um, another larger tag and a journaling card that came with the kit. Um, this is um, one of the altered bags. Can't remember. I mean, I've been making these all along. So I just can't remember where we got the idea from. But anyway, um, here's a pocket here with some tags. Here's another pocket here with a larger tag. And this is one of those um, flip up tags that you can write on in the middle. That goes right in there. And then we have a journaling card in the sack itself. And a little uh, fabric flower for decoration. More of the beautiful paper. This is the other side of the little um, clip-on. Uh, I'm sorry, the other side of the little sack that, that has a flower card inside and the little clip that holds it together. This is more of the um, collaged coffee dyed paper and I see that that's coming up just a little bit there. So I will fix that, glue that down. This is a pocket that I saw, um, I viewed this on Pinterest. Um, got the idea from Pinterest. So this is a large pocket here that has a tag right up here. It has a smaller pocket here with another tag. And then this little, um, this little part opens up here and it folds out like this. And then the, this just gets tied back together, which I will, <clears throat> I will mess with that later. So that was a cute idea. Um, I'll probably do a video on this, on how I made this. I thought it was really cute um, to add to a journal. This is an altered CD sleeve and um, this doesn't open up, it just has, um, I used it as a belly band pocket. And this is just a pretty piece of bee paper, queen bee, to journal on that I added to the pocket. More journaling space, we can always use more journaling space. Has another one of um, Claudia's little bees. Um, this is, I think this is the other side to the children's book, children's book page. 
And this is a, one of the little clips uh, that we made together on video. I do have a video of making these little altered paper clips. And it has um, a little bee in the middle and a little butterfly charm on this side here. And that just flip, uh, clips right onto the page wherever you'd like to clip them. And um, I do have a video on this if you want to um, learn how to make one of these. Ah, another um, piece of the Honey Roses jour uh, journaling kit, digi kit, the other side of the doily. This is a loaded pocket from, where did I get this from? my handmade ephemera my handmade ephemera made this pocket and it is right full of little goodies i just love her work we have a butterfly here we have a little um folder fold with pockets with more goodies inside oh she does beautiful work love her work that goes here she has a, another little journaling card. She has a tag, another tag. She has more tags and goodies up here. This one is a fold out tag and a bee journal tag. Oh, she just, it's just full of goodies and I absolutely love it absolutely love it so that is that and that was from my handmade ephemera beautiful this is a tuck um i know i made these with with gail augustinelli but i'm not sure where she got it from but all it is is um some scrap paper that you have left over and you just geometrically sew them together. Um, I have a tag and some smaller tags tucked in right in there and a little snippet from, I'm not sure, I'll get back to you on. I'll get back to you on that. Um, not sure where my little snippets came from. Oh, so much to remember. So much to remember. Sorry, guys. I'll get back to you on that. So this is more of the B paper. The other side of Edith Holden's uh, book page. The... Uh, other side of the little uh, the little paper here with a little bee pocket and some little tags on the inside here. More more writing space. We have the back page of the journal, the signature, and we have a pocket here um, with some more little tags. A tag in here and a postcard behind. And I used this paper um, on the inside of the uh, cover because it reminded me a little bit of a honeycomb. So that is why this beautiful paper is on the inside of the cover. And there's the back of the journal. And here it is. Full of fun. What is this? Okay, that's just a pull off. So guys, that's it. That's my bee journal. I will be putting this on my Etsy shop um, as soon as I can get it on. Um, let's see. Still, um, like I said, still waiting for Melinda Ulrich to give me get in contact with me. If not, after vacation, I will... Um, see what we're going to do from there. Hope you guys are 
um, you know, thank you for, anyway, thank you for <laughs> viewing my new bee journal. Thank you for all your comments and subscriptions. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. So you stay healthy, stay safe, have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.